Welcome back to True Life Narratives, where we uncover strategies and insights that can elevate your life and career. Today we're diving into a topic that matters to everyone whether you're looking to climb the corporate ladder, build a successful business, or make yourself indispensable in the workplace. How can you increase your value in the market? Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll have actionable strategies to stand out and rise above the competition. Let's face it, no one wants to feel like just another number in the workforce or an easily replaceable part of a business. Imagine a scenario where you're always chosen for the best projects, given promotions faster than others, or sought after by clients and partners. Sounds good, right? But here's the thing standing out isn't as simple as working a little harder or clocking in more hours. The truth is, increasing your value isn't about doing what everyone else is doing, just more of it. It's about doing things differently. It's about working smarter, not harder. Let's dive in and uncover the core strategies that will help you boost your value in the marketplace and become someone others look to when they need excellence. First things first, let's talk about identifying and leveraging your unique strengths. Every single one of us has a talent, skill, or quality that makes us stand out. It might be a natural knack for problem solving, a creative way of thinking, or maybe you're just really good at bringing people together. But the question is, how often do we truly stop and ask ourselves, what is it that I bring to the table that no one else does? Take some time to reflect on your past experiences, whether that's in your career, education, or even personal projects. Think about those moments where you've truly excelled, those times when people praised you or recognized you. That's your unique strength speaking. Now, here's the kicker once you've pinpointed this strength. Don't just let it sit there and gather dust. Use it as a key part of your professional identity. Start branding yourself around these strengths. Whether it's through your social media profiles, the way you present yourself in meetings, or even the language you use on your resume, make sure your unique abilities shine through. Emphasizing these traits consistently over time will set you apart, and people will start to recognize you for what you uniquely bring to the table. Once you've got a handle on what sets you apart, it's time to focus on building on that foundation. Step two is to constantly develop new skills. One of the biggest mistakes people make is thinking that they're done learning after a certain point in their career. But here's the thing, the market doesn't care about what you learned five or even 10 years ago if you're not keeping up with the trends today. Technology and industries are constantly evolving and the most valuable professionals are those who evolve right along with them. A powerful and efficient way to do this is through micro-learning. This approach involves investing a small amount of time every day, or at least every week, into learning something new. It could be as simple as watching a short video tutorial, taking a quick online course, or even just reading articles to stay updated on the latest industry trends. You don't need to enroll in a six-month program to start increasing your value. With just a few minutes here and there, you'll be surprised by how much you can pick up. And here's the best part within a few weeks or months. You'll not only notice how much you've grown, but others will too. They'll see you as someone who's always on top of things, always learning, and always evolving. Now let's address the power of networking. Ah. Networking the word that makes some people excited and others, not so much. But here's the reality you need a network if you want to grow your value in the market. But let's clarify something. We're not talking about adding random people on LinkedIn and hoping that somehow that will help you. No, the most valuable networks are built through genuine connections. That means reaching out to people in your industry, not just for favors, but to actually offer help ask questions, or share insights. It's about building relationships, not transactions. So here's the strategy. When you network, aim to give value first. Reach out to people with an offer of help, a useful resource, or a thoughtful comment. Show interest in what they're doing and don't be afraid to ask for advice. You're much more valuable to your network when you're the one offering value. Be the person who shares resources, makes introductions, and offers a helping hand. 
The more you give, the more you'll get back. And when the time comes for you to ask for something, a referral, a new opportunity, or even advice, people will be ready to reciprocate because you've built that foundation of trust and generosity. All right, let's dive into one of the most important aspects of standing out in today's world, personal branding. Your personal brand can be as crucial as the skills on your resume. Whether it's the way you present yourself in meetings, the tone of your social media, or even your online portfolio, people are paying attention. And if you're not actively shaping your personal brand, someone else is likely to do it for you. So ask yourself, what do people say about me when I'm not in the room? That's your personal brand. Crafting a strong personal brand doesn't mean you need to reinvent yourself. It's about aligning your public presence with your core values and strengths. If you're someone who's always learning, share that. Talk about new things you're learning or show your projects. If you're a connector, be open about connecting people. Consistency is key. Over time, people will start associating you with those traits and you'll become the go-to person in your field for those skills. Finally, let's talk about consistency and resilience. This is where many people drop the ball. Increasing your value in the market isn't a one-time effort. It requires showing up day after day, even when things get tough. Think of it like building a reputation, something that doesn't happen overnight. With every project you complete, every skill you master, and every connection you make, you're adding to your personal value. Setbacks? They're inevitable. But what sets high-value people apart is how they handle them. Use every failure as an opportunity to learn, adapt, and come back stronger. So there you have it, five powerful strategies to increase your value in the market. Identify your strengths, keep learning, network strategically, build a personal brand, and most importantly, be consistent and resilient. These aren't just tips, they're tried and true strategies that can transform your career and open doors you never thought possible. If you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to True Life Narratives for more insights like this. And in the comments, let us know what are you doing today to increase your value in the market. Thanks for watching. And until next time, keep growing, keep learning, and stay valuable.